Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chi Mason Show. This is Chi Mason here, bringing you some more gaming type news and stuff for this Monday, August 13th. First thing I want to mention is something I mentioned in the last video. Best Buy is having their gaming sale. It started yesterday. It's going till the 18th. I'll put a link below for a list of all the prices in games. So there's a rumor that they're having another sale immediately after this one. It should start on the 19th. Uh, I will put a link to a listing for it. Also, the quality of that is significantly better than the, the previous sale. Matt Smith has been confirmed to be the doctor until at least 2014, at least according to an interview he did with The Sun. Bet a lot of anti- Smith people are not happy about that. Nate Wells tweeted that he is joining Naughty Dog. You may remember Nate Wells from a story we did last week. He was the art director of Bioshock Infinite. He's left Irrational, and now he's found a new home. Battlefield 4 is going to stay modern. And a quote, We still want to be in this genre, the modern day as it is. I agree with that. I would, would like for Battlefield 4 to be modern. PlayStation All-Stars has been delayed until November 20th. A post on the PlayStation blog says, This will let us spend more time tuning and polishing the game. I have friends that were in the beta. They weren't too impressed, so hopefully they'll put that time to good use. And speaking of PlayStation, Sony's Jack Dretton weighed in on his feelings on free-to-play and social gaming and how they're not the future of gaming. He is quoted as saying, is a business I think a lot of companies are learning is hard to sustain for the long term and there's a place for social and free uh, freemium but it's not going to replace the business models that are out there. While he probably is going to receive some flack for the way he said it, I have to agree with him. I don't really see free ga uh, freemium or social games completely replacing I see them more as an additive to the current system. And, you know, it's an alternate thing you can do. You can play some of these free games. You can play some of these social games. But I think we're still going to be paying $60 for a game, uh, for especially for these bigger games and such. Neo Geo X Gold launches December 6th. This is a portable Neo Geo. I don't know how many people remember the Neo Geo. It's going to have a 4.3 inch LCD screen, game card slot that's going to be preloaded with 20 games, I think, and a console station to plug it in with HDMI support so you can play on your TV with this joypad. It's a fairly big joypad, and it's going to cost $200. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting one. I don't, I don't care to pay $200 to play some Neo Geo games, but for people who are big Neo Geo people, there you go. Diablo 3 patch 1.04 preview. Uh, not really going to talk a whole lot about it. I'll post a link in case you want to check it out. One thing I do want to say about it is the change with the item level 61 and two weapons being able to roll level 63 damage is pretty awesome, but I'm wondering how that's going to devalue 63 weapons. We'll have to see. Epic Games now wholly owns people can fly. This comes after reports of three people leaving. Steam updates for Steam community adds in Game Hubs, which is going to highlight the most popular user created uh, stuff uh, via screenshots, videos, etc., um, and link it with news and such about that particular game. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Steam's actually rolling out a few updates for their community, so we'll have to keep an eye out for any more changes. Borderlands 2 Villain. Show you the trailer. People of Pandora, this is Handsome Jack, your hero. We all know that ever since I took over your armpit of a planet, Pandora has been at peace. Until these pathetic vault hunters showed up, that is. A grizzled commander who can control the battlefield with his turret. The rage-filled Gunzerker. Hit me, I dare you! When a single gun goes in and up, 
Mm-hmm. A siren, mystical and deadly. Harnessing the powers of all four elements. And this assassin thing. A true world reveal. See, I don't know what his deal is. Alright, that was actually kind of cool. You know you idiots are so pathetic. Do you have any idea how much firepower you're gonna need to take me down? A lot. A whole goddamn lot. <laughs> Ah! Uh, oh, oh, okay, that's a lot of guns. But sorry, kiddos, you really got no chance. Because I've got a few tricks up my sleeve that I... Well, I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Suffice it to say, Vault Hunters, I'm gonna kill you. You want to prove me wrong? You want to stop the greatness that is Handsome Jack? Well, come and get me. Shit's badass. And last bit I want to cover is the alleged 720 dev kit selling on eBay. This is supposedly the same guy who's been leaking Durango picks and the, the Connect pick. According to him, he had two of them. He sold this one for 20000 that's insane. $20,000 for something you're not even sure if it is a dev kit. Not to mention the whole fiasco that could just come from because Microsoft could easily come in and say, no, you can't have this because technically you don't really own dev kits. They're loaned to you. Not to mention the fact that more than likely it's fake and someone just got sucker for $20,000. But we'll definitely have to keep an eye out for that. And that's all I have today. I will see you guys Wednesday.